Hi everybody, just a quick video on how you can clean up and remove noise from the audio you've captured that you're going to use as commentary with your uh, game videos. This is a WAV file that I captured using my Zoom H1 Handy Recorder and I've opened it up in the free program Audacity, just do a Google search and what we're going to do is we're just going to remove the noise using Audacity, nice and simple, and then we're going to boost up the levels using the Levelator, which is again the Levelator 2 free. Just do a Google for Levelator 2, you can download it and it's a clever little program. So first things first, I've just gone to the beginning of the video and whenever I'm recording audio, I always leave a bit of quiet time at the back. And if we zoom in a little bit using the magnifying glass, you'll see this is a little bit where I'm not speaking, but there is some some readings on the, on the sound wave here. And that's the noise we want to get rid of. So all you do is you get the select tool, select a bit of it, go to effect, noise removal, and get noise profile. And then we just go to edit, select all, back to effect, noise removal. And we're gonna say, okay, now as far as settings go, I'm no expert at that, I just have all the sliders in the middle and it seemed to work work okay for video work. If I was creating a podcast or something where people listen to it, um, where the, the noise um, and the sound fidelity has to be a bit better. I don't always bother removing this, the, the noise because a little bit of background noise makes audio recordings sound a little bit uh, more natural, I think. As you can see, Audacity is now just removing that noise. And in a second, you'll see that these lines will then become uh, nice and straight, meaning we've got rid of that. Let's have a look. Dunk. There we go, so there will be very little noise at that point. Now, if you wanted to, at this point, you could then go in and start editing, you know, deleting things, cutting things. But that's a nice, simple edit because I tend to do a lot, a lot of that editing actually on in uh, Premiere Pro when I'm doing the video editing. So what I will now do is I'll now do File, Export, and I want to export it as a WAV. I'm going to get into the correct folder where I'm doing this, which is in this one. And we're just going to put zoom eight, and I'm going to add a little uh, suffix to the end. So I'm going to call it zoom 008 wav. So I know it's a separate file, and uh, I'm just saving it as a wav, so that that's fine it's because it's a lossless format. Don't add any metadata. Don't need to do that. So that's now exported it as a wav. Now the levelator is a super little clever program that. Uh, helps to, to fill out the quiet times in your recording. It basically, it boosts the, the quiet times and makes the whole recording um, consistent. It does the job, whereas if you were recording live and you had a live person on a mixed desk sort of controlling the levels as you were like leaning back on your mic or maybe you're not looking in the right direction to where your mic is, someone who's manually adjusting the levels would be sort of pushing that up and pulling it down. And the levelator kind of does that across the whole file uh, in quite a clever way. Again, it's something I tend to use on video audio, but I don't always use it on audio audio because it can can be a bit much. So all I do now is I just find the folder where that Zoom 8 is, and I'm just gonna drag that down onto the level levelator, drop that on. That's gonna do its magic, and then it's gonna save it in the same folder, and it's gonna call it Zoom 008 WAV output. And that file is pretty much fine then for me to drag into Premiere Pro or Movie Maker or even put it on a memory stick and transfer it to my PS4 to use with Share Factory to add it as uh, a commentary or a soundtrack to my video capture footage. So there we go. If you've got any questions or comments, please stick them down below, especially any sort of things you'd like to see in future videos. If you've enjoyed the video, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon.